Prison for Closeton Combat Systems, and the website is fluentfighting.com. Okay, out here in the 106 degree heat in the high desert in the mountains, desert mountains. <laughs> anyway, here's the war bag done. A little bit more. I did some more changes to it, and I think that uh, some people were commenting about the other one, uh, the prior version being they couldn't understand it so well. Well, here you go. Here's a, a more evolved version of the war bag. Why is it a war bag and not just a heavy bag anymore? Well, we have the tie bag here, and then we have the uh, suspended two motorcycle tires here and two motorcycle tires here down below. These are lashed. These are lashed. And as I said before, not tying is vastly important to being able to construct this thing. It's not that difficult. You just have to know your knots. That is, is if you don't want to have to cut all the ropes when you get done and try to move it again. Because I can take this apart and move it again. Uh, anyway, war bag because I'm not doing sports any longer. I'm not a sport fighter any longer. I was. More than you who are watching this. 75 fights on three continents. Titles. Top 10 guys. I fought them. Muay Thai. K1. Level fights. Uh, shoot boxing. <laughs> and regular international kickboxing fights. And boxing. About 11 boxing. Professional boxing fights. So I've said and done it. Those days are done because no one's going to come up to me and want to fight me in a sport fight. It's going to be a real fight, a war fight. This is what I do nowadays. It's uh, counter violence, zero distance warfare, military subject matter expert. This bag is designed for that. The war bag is designed for that. I'm not going to, this is not an instructional, I'm not giving away techniques, but this is designed for not using gloves for having shoes on. It's reality. I'm giving you that free bit of thing. Martial artists, they're out of their minds. What do they do? <laughs> Number one, they're wearing generally shorts and a t-shirt or they're, if they're traditionally wearing a gi and no shoes. <laughs> but they put gloves on. Completely opposite of what you're going to be doing in, in reality. Right? So this thing is designed is designed to be used for realistic situations for training. And that's what's good because we have a high, we have a low, and we have and for the for the body tack. Because you're not going to be doing low single legs, low doubles, or high crotches in this in the in a war or in the street. You can't bend over if you got 30 kilos on you. Do you drop down and try to do those? You cannot shoot in with that. That's all body. So look at our DVDs. Uh, that's covered in VDA, uh, also uh, XMA, I think. And you can see realistic, real fighting technique, anti-grappling also. <clears throat> so this is what you can aim for. This is a great bag. It's going to take your techniques, your training further. Once again, you can do it in interval training. Uh, don't get caught in the sport thing either of thinking three minutes, uh, going for a round of three minutes, or the MMA five minute rounds. Mix it up. Real fighting is not predictable. You can't get into a rhythm like that, or the three minute rhythm or the five minute rhythm. You can't get into that in, in war fighting. Okay, so here's the war bag. So, <laughs> what do you do? Like, subscribe share and train okay and if you've got your own post a video people making comments about they've done this or they don't like it make your own i'll put your video up if you put the video if you send the video link okay so clerks and combat systems fluentfighting.com check us out on facebook clerks and combat systems and i also have special groups because combat systems covers lots of area okay so there you go. This is what the war bag looks like when it's completed. Pristine. All right. Talk to you again soon. Great.